All right. So we've taken a good piece here. Which could have been a piece of Germany. But it's not. I was just kind of waiting for Hispania to be reduced ever further by our vassals, hopefully. We will eventually fight them for pieces. And... France is not at war with them. France is capital currently. There. Blessed be his name. Are you at war with anyone? No, you're not. Do nothing. And of course, I would like to come arouse. We could create several titles, such as the Kingdom of Brittany, the Duchy of Savoy, the Duchy of Galer, and the Empire of Francia. Yes, let's increase the prosperity of people. However, I mean, we can hold several Empire titles, it just doesn't give us all that much beside, you know, more prestige. It was already quite well generated. But we might go for the Kingdom of Brittany. We have received a visitor. A monk from the great abbey of Cluny. Ooh, very good. Tells me that the monks there spend much of their days in devoted prayer. And that they always mention the names of the most pious Christians in those prayers. If I would like to demonstrate my immense piety by donating a large sum of gold to Cluny Abbey, would be surely among those their prayers. Well, let's do that. Cluny is the abbey, I believe. Well, it has historical significance. I just, I'm not entirely certain if it was connected to the first crusade or some other crusade. Uh, or if it was just about papal elections. But Cluny is a very important name. Look it up. Well, let's get the party started. And let's hope our vassals slowly but surely begin fighting. Aww. Viceroy of Italy and I are good friends. Lovely. It was fun. I think we can give our direct dynastic members some more permanent titles instead of just vice royalties what kingdom is this Dana. ah we lose zealous that's a shame you good at anything oh uh, you're quite learned have you at the court then I think it's time we abandon our secret faith and actually do go into a monastic order. Soon at least. It was a defensive pact against the Pope? This Pope? That's a bit of a revolt you're facing there. Could help him. 
Oh. We don't. I'd rather attack him over stuff that we would like. But it's unlikely that he's going to lose. Quite unlikely he's going to lose. We might still try. Let's try. We don't really have anything to lose. Let's try to get Tyrol. Or rather Tyrol. Might be facing the Pope though. In doing that. Yeah. Oops. Alright. Let's get our Italian troops up. They shall take care of all of this for us. Everyone is a crusader these days. That's okay though. Yeah, yeah, you better move away there. We're just going to split and take everything. Get some more troops in here so we don't accidentally lose something. You know how these things go with me. Alright, he leaves his area. That's good. Don't really need to get involved against his troops. We'll just take everything we can out here. Split that army, move them down here, feeding ourselves. Oh no. Okay. That's not ideal. Let's lead those troops ourselves. And let's move them up there quick. We do have a little bit of a defensive advantage. But they bring many, many more troops than we do. That might not be enough of an advantage. Nope, our center is already broken. All our flanks are broken. Where the hell did just... We just lost like 5,000 troops here. Alright, let's try this again. You didn't do too good. Let's put you on a flank, rather. What the hell? Where did we just lose 5,000 troops to? To attrition? Oh, this is all our stuff. All our land. Shouldn't have happened. That's why we always bring more troops than we think we need. He's not- oh yeah, he's good. He's actually good. I was about to complain because they'd never really find anyone decent in these. But here we are. Me getting proven wrong. Let's get this guy. Replaced, not rejected. Oh, he's an organizer too. We'll lead this army personally. Increasing morale. So we don't want to fight the Pope, we also don't fight anyone else. Let's get our these troops up here. Well, Honestly, better safe than sorry. Move them here. And split them, put them there so we have some way of moving about. I've inherited the barony of Hersfeld. 
which I know intimately. Because this actually is a thing. That's it. Ah, uh, we don't want to hold it. Let's put some weird vassal up. Emirate of Cairo. Why do we... What? 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 I was not aware of holdings down here. <laughs> This thing. So let us usurp the Emirate of Cairo and give it to our kinsman. Isn't that odd? Isn't that odd? How do these things happen? I don't think he's going to come overseas. Shouldn't have enough troops for that. We'll just keep sieging around here. There's his main army. Alright, we'll split these. And put one army there. And the other we keep in reserve. reinforce should the need arise oh no probably didn't get the strong ruler thing again I was steward hmm commander is really quite something let's put this man up why not What can he possibly do wrong collecting taxes? My son, my genius son, you become a diplomat. We need all the even tempered men that we can find. What physician will be this man, of course. He can be our cupbearer. Encountering troops from Alemania, so these are papal troops we're fighting here. Okay, we've taken all these pieces. So now we'll branch out a little bit and keep this army stationed between everyone. Because we're not looking to fight his army. It might come for us. But we're not looking to fight them. Not just so, anyway. Ah, damn it. Losing people to attrition here. Let's put them here and hold. Decently defensible position. And we won't have all that much attrition. What did I just say? And we won't have that much attrition. I don't think the forts actually do anything. Oh! Ah. Small army. Small enemy army. Not huge lumbering blob of death. How much can we possibly lose down here? Let's put them in winter quarters. Somewhere where they don't die just from being alive. Ah! Let's wait until he's locked in. Let's make sure we have good 
commanders up for the task. Once he's locked in, we'll move this army to support. Which will be perfectly fine and enough. Don't really care about foreign religion messages. They rarely ever do mean much. Nah, we will stop them. Ow! We are both strong and weak, so it all cancels itself out again. There are some armies on the move. News from China. All right. Okay. Nothing much to do with us. So these 2,000 here are very tasty for the enemy. He'll come repeatedly and try and get them. Because they do seem weak. There they go. Again. And again, we'll just move in once he's locked in. Make sure we have good leaders here. Do. Oh, ever more rebellions popping up here. We need to be a little bit careful. Move against them. We shall lead personally. Even though we are at a great disadvantage, we need the points for winning. Let's bunch these together. Let's move them in. We have better lines of mutual support going. Ha! And he does surrender. Very good. Taking a little piece. Let's stand down our troops. And we own everything down here. Let's get some people going. Let's get some titles going for our kids. County of Trent goes to him. And he can have the county of Bolzano. And these we put up. Do we have someone deserving or son in law? He can have the county of Innsbruck. And all of these. The title, yeah, the Duchy of Tyrol. Let's create that. Yes. Now we go ahead and take our genius grandson. Give him the Duchy of Tyrol. And now we transfer some vassalage. No, we don't have to transfer vassalage. Okay. I do wonder what happens if I do this. We're just going to try it. Let's go for a high centralization. Instead of a super high. So we have five more vassals that we can have. A little bit more buffer. Don't need completely centralized. Ah, leave it as it is. We'll take care of it when things become difficult. Alright. Okay, we're almost at 100% threat. So I believe... Declaring war against this little rebellion here. Is it even? Oh. Okay, here. Ah, I can't declare war against them. We have raised armies still. Ah. Good. Thank you for reminding me. 
I don't want to build a hospital there now. So we could try a holy war for Bavaria, which is probably the biggest piece that we can take out of him at once. What are you even fighting? You are fighting. Can I offer to join your war? Oh. Alright, let's just have him do his thing there. Many blessed are passing. Oh, you're facing a new revolt, huh? A revolt. It looks like no one helps rebellions in their wars. Quite interesting to me. So we could just pick up a little bit more. Stuff. And you could press our de jure claim for Latium or press our Viceroy's de jure claim on it. You know what, let's. Let's do that. Our Italian troops will deal with the matter. I'm sure, but we will reinforce them with these. And that must be enough. I'll not send more. Let's move in. Must be quick about it. I'll go along the coast. Avoid the enemy. You might be instantly crushed now. Doesn't look good for him. Don't really need to obligate vassals to do anything. Our son is such an attractive choice for most things. Don't like us very much. I have a little smallish title. Ah, look, we're fighting a bit of the rebels. Put troops together and hope against hope that these are enough to dissuade the papacy from attacking me. We just want this little bit here. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Papacy is quite threatening. And how many troops they can bring. But they're not going to go for me directly. As long as they have rebels to chase down. We just want this one piece. And hopefully sieging through it will be enough to get it. Bye master. Let's have it him be. Why do I always mess up that that one sentence? I always mess up that one sentence. Let's have it be him. It's so easy. And yet here I am. Messing it up every single time. Let's get some more siege business going. We're a little bit behind the times there. Skirmishes too. What do we need? Tolerance would be lovely. We don't need it, but it would be lovely. Majesty would be also nice. Imperial administration. What exactly does that even do? Allows for... Duchy Vice Royalties. Which I don't really need. The king vice royalties are enough. He's preparing to strike against the rebel army here. Probably besieging somewhere there. 
There's a lot of cities to take. Could try and force ourselves in, but I feel we might lose too many troops against that. Oh, he's not even doing too terrible with those overwhelming odds. Ah! Took the Pope down a notch. He's battered, but not beaten yet. Still valiantly fighting. Ooh, look who's coming south. He'll probably turn around again. I uh, hope he's going to turn around again. Turn around again. Do not wish to fight. There's no need for violence. We're both good Christian men. I don't see why you would come here. Nothing to see. Move along. Oh no. One of our good guys died. Yeah, so that siege we're doing here. I know you're a little bit unhappy with it all, but... Oh! Oh! Just in time. Maybe we're going to arrive in time to reinforce our troops here. Let's watch this happen. Alright, stage three is done. But we're not doing too well. We are not doing too well. This battle is lost. Our troops did not have enough morale as they arrived. Try and help. And we'll be able to... Oh. Everyone goes in a different direction. Lovely. God damn it. Damn it! All to hell. Let's get back together. Unite and try this again. All our commanders just die. I'm not a happy man. Yes, we would like to be zealous. Zealous is great for us. Good for our skin. Right, can't we have someone better on the flank? No, actually there is no one better than us. Is so going to break that siege. And we will attack him and see how this works out now. Maybe a little bit better than on the defense. Yeah, looks better already. Yeah, our wife can be fat too. We're fat, she can be fat. Everyone can be fat. Good, we have beaten the Pope. Back to sieging it is. This I think is the rebel army that just popped up here. Maybe France will take care of it. Looks like they are raising their troops. Well, let's find out how this turns out soon. <laughs>